really trying this? I don't know, bro, this was a stupid idea. What is up guys? So I'm about to head down to Venice Beach, maybe vlog a little bit, but in the last video I promised to keep you updated on the whole Gold's Gym situation. So if you have not been paying attention, if you did not watch the last vlog, which is probably not a smart move, I framed a picture of myself and put it up on the Gold's Gym wall with all the other famous bodybuilders. I stuck around for like two hours and the picture did not get taken down. I mean, people were taking pictures with it, people were laughing at it, but it just didn't get taken down. So I actually showed up the next day to see if it was still there, but unfortunately, it was already taken down. So I went and asked the dude at the front desk. I was like, yo, what happened to my picture? And he was like, oh, sorry, we took it down. You actually need permission to put your picture up on the wall. And I was like, oh, I had no idea, man. I thought anyone could just put their picture up on the wall. And he told me if I wanted it back, I would have to talk to the manager. So I guess the manager has the picture. But the problem is that would probably be a pretty awkward conversation and I might get in trouble. So I'm not sure what I should do. What do you guys think? But anyway, if anything else happens, I will definitely Definitely keep you updated and yeah I will see you guys at Venice Beach yo what is up guys I know that you're wondering Connor why are you in this sketchy alleyway right now instead of the wonderful Venice Beach that you always go to well the answer is that I realized that I have a sharp weapon on me that I can protect myself with at all times you know what that is Miguel you want to see it I don't know if that's cool for you too but <laughs> <laughs> Miguel you have a dirty mind man this is a family-friendly YouTube channel all right no Miguel I'm talking about my jawline the jawline, one of the most aesthetic and coveted, sought after aspects of the aesthetic physique. All right guys, so this vlog is gonna be epic. You guys are in for a treat. As always, there's gonna be some educational content. All right, I'm going to tell you guys the legit tips and tricks that I use to make my jawline look the best. And then of course, we're gonna test it out and see if we can pick up some girls with it, man. But first, I gotta tell you guys something that you will be super excited about. But this is top secret and I do not want any haters to know about this. And there are people around here like listening and stuff. So follow me, I'll tell you about it over here. Bro, that cardio was not worth that epic vlog content. <laughs> But we had to move locations because I do not want the haters to know about this because there's gonna be some very controversial stuff on here. So I just created a new YouTube channel called Connor Murphy Talks. And on this channel, we're gonna take the best, most educational slash entertaining parts of the Adonix podcast. We filmed the Adonix podcast, by the way, and put them on YouTube. And yo, there is some great information on there and things get kind of crazy and controversial too. So honestly, man, if you're a hater, please don't subscribe. I do not want to get like, exposed for what I say but if you're a hardcore fan and you love me go subscribe right now links is in the description I'm gonna be posting twice a week more often than I've ever posted before this is going to be an epic channel go subscribe all right bros let's get out of this sketchy alleyway <laughs> cut that out cut that out. I get that pump in there. Always gotta get that pump at every opportunity. All right guys, so I'll try and catch my breath and tell you the top secret jawline tips and tricks that I secretly use. Now, first of all, before I say any of these things, the most important part is genetics. All right, genetics play a huge role in your jawline. Some people are just gonna look like a freaking circle, man, but others, gonna have a chiseled sharp jawline but everyone has a jaw all right so you can do things to make it show or make it better the first set of things to do and it's not the easiest but it's the simplest and it's basically just do things to get yourself leaner if you're fat your jaw is just not gonna show but if you're at a super low body fat percentage it's gonna show all right even if you have a super round looking jaw you're gonna see that round looking jaw if you're lean and also something that will make you look leaner in general is sodium and water manipulation now the Science gets kind of complicated. I'm not gonna go into that too much, but what you guys need to know is if you're eating a bunch of salt, you're probably gonna be holding water, and that includes in your face, which is gonna kind of cover up the jawline. Also, if you are dehydrated, you are actually going to hold more water, but if you're constantly hydrating yourself, if you're drinking a ton of water, your body says, hey, I have a ton of water around me, so I don't really need it, so I'm gonna start expelling water. So the more hydrated you are, the less water you're gonna hold underneath your skin, and the better your jawline's gonna look. 
All right, guys, so you might have guessed by now, but the reason I'm doing cardio is because we're gonna chest out. Chest out? Okay, we're gonna chest out, <laughs> and we're gonna test out the power of the draw line later, and I need to be as lean as possible, so I'm trying to burn every piece of body fat that I have. So, there are two other secret tips and tricks to get the draw line, and here is probably the most powerful that is actually gonna make a change in your jaw. So some people don't realize this. You have this beautiful bicep right here. It's a muscle, it moves stuff, but your face has muscles too. I wouldn't be able to talk if you did not have face muscles. And although people don't talk about this, the muscles in your face can grow just like all your other muscles. But I mean, they are smaller, so they're not going to grow as much, but they can still grow. So there are a bunch of weird exercises you could do. In fact, I know there's some weird ball that you can chew on and some crazy stuff out there. But for most people, they're probably not going to do it. It's not that sustainable. The best, most sustainable thing that I have found is to simply chew gum. All right. And I know it sounds simple, but I guarantee you, if you chew a lot of gum, your jawline will get at least a little bit better. Test this out. Chew right now and feel. Feel what muscles you use. Those muscles right around here will get slightly bigger and accentuate the jawline. Now, the change isn't going to be crazy, but it definitely can't hurt. And man, remember, go above and beyond, man, in everything you do. Don't just chew one piece of gum. The more gum you put in your mouth, the harder it is to chew. So instead of just chewing on one small piece of gum, maybe put three in there. Or better yet, just chew one and then when the flavor goes away, put in another one and then put in another one. And man, you'll see your jawline just sweat well up in no time. So the last tip I'm gonna give you is facial hair. Now, I don't really use this tip that much. I don't have the best facial hair, so I can't take full advantage of it, but Miguel, have you ever seen an old lumberjack looking dude with a neck beard have an aesthetic jawline? What jaw? Exactly, man. <laughs> Yo, if you have a neck beard, I don't even know if you have a jaw or not. Shape your facial hair to fit your jawline. Facial hair sticks out, man, and it gives a little more structure to the jaw. So have some facial hair on the cheeks and down to the jaw, but then shave off the neck beard and your jaw will look a little bit more structured. So I don't really have the best facial hair to fully take advantage of it, but I can tell you I always shave my neck beard, man, or at least trim it very close. Now that you guys have been educated and know the tips, now we are going to take some last second efforts to make the jawline look as good as possible. So we got to get some supplies. All right, guys, so as you may have guessed, got some water here to stay hydrated so we carry less water. So we got two waters to make sure we're extra hydrated. And the key is to drink them as fast as possible to get the water in your system as quickly as possible because we don't have much time, man. We don't have much time. It's too much water, man. Yeah. All right, we are hydrated. The next step, obviously, Gotta chew some gum. Guys, obviously none of this is gonna make that big of a difference, but we could probably actually get a, a jawline pump going on, right? Is it pumped up? Is it looking good, Miguel? Mm -hmm. I, I, think, I think this deserves like a nice slow-mo to like cinematic music, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Miguel, you, you don't have to do the music. I was I was oh. gonna put it in there. Oh. I was gonna put the music in there. Are you yeah. sure you don't want me to? Nah, you're good, okay. bro. You're good. guys now that we are hydrated and we got the jawline pumped up and muscular we are going to go ask girls opinion on the jawline see how important it is and then of course gotta gotta try and pick them up man the jawline see how powerful it is when it comes to the girls all right before we go find some girls i want to give you guys a quick fitness update as you could have guessed i'm finally going on a bulk which is very tough to do mentally because i know everyone's gonna hate on my lack of abs but i gotta do it man i gotta get my gains back so i've actually been lean bulking for a couple weeks i've been following 
following, you know, a pretty standard lean bulking program, very similar to the one that you guys can get with Adonix Coaching, except it'll be customized for you, so it'll work even better. But yeah, guys, after two weeks, obviously I didn't gain a noticeable amount of muscle in two weeks, but I feel the glycogen coming back. And it surprised me because I thought that after one cheat meal, all the glycogen would be back in your muscle, you'd be looking full. But what I realized is it actually takes a while of being in a surplus, you know, having enough carbs in you for your glycogen to fill back out. So man, Miguel thought I was looking a little bigger. I think I'm looking a little bigger, but then again, that might be wishful thinking. All right, let me know what you guys think. I think this arm update also deserves a little cinematic edit, don't you think? Mm, yeah, yeah. Bro, is my is my right forearm bigger than my left? Why is my right forearm bigger than my left, man? That's how it's supposed to be. Oh, it's probably all the writing I do, right? Find the YouTube video. Yeah, it's it's the writing I do. It's just not anything else. That's it. All right, let's go find some ladies. A few moments later. I want your opinion on jawlines. On oh, jawline. I like them when they're like defined. They're just another like part of the body. No body parts are important. I mean, I um, well, body parts are important, but I don't know. <laughs> so, do you care about the jawline or on you or just do no on no. myself? Too. Really? Yeah. So everyone should have a good jawline. Yeah. What is it about it? I don't even know. Is it like the the structure of the face? I don't know. It just it just makes it look better. Yeah. I know you girls are wondering why I'm just carrying this cake all around. You think you can cut this on my jawline? Is my jawline sharp enough? Oh, I got this. It's all you, girl. All right, here, go for it. All right. I'm really trying this. I don't know, bro. This was a stupid idea. <laughs> all right. <laughs> that was an interesting approach. That counts, right? Yeah. I think that counts. Well, bros, you know, I expected them to try and cut it like a saw, not just smash it in my face. I think they had the wrong idea. We'll do it better next time. Bro, I'm kind of worried. Do you think that, like, the calories from the cake will, like, seep into my skin? That might be an issue. That doesn't actually happen. Later. People are wondering why I have this cake. Can you guess why? No. Can't guess. This is a man that likes cakes. Yeah, just like cakes. Anyway. <laughs> All right, no, it's not. <laughs> They're really worried about the cake now. What is your opinion on draw lines? Draw lines are very important. On, on you or on a dude? On a dude and on me. So draw line for everyone. Everyone needs to have a draw line. Exactly. No one can really tell me why, but it just looks good for some reason. It's definition. definition. There you go. They said at the same time, it must be true. Do I have a decent draw line? I've been working on it. Yeah, yeah, uh, pretty. See this cake right here? I'll tell you yeah. what it's for. Are you a magician that like this is crazy shit right now? I am. I've, I've made many magical videos. How about if you can cut this bread on my jawline, then I get your number. Okay, right. we now. can negotiate. Okay, we'll negotiate after. The last group of girls that did this, they didn't understand the concept of like cutting, and they just kind of smashed it on my face. Oh. So what part of your jaw I'm allowed to You know, it's just the sharpest part. Okay. Wait, no, well, you, I would open it in first. <laughs> Oh, we're going this way. Oh, already. That was sharp. I get sharp. You girls want this at all? No, absolutely. You not. want it, Miguel? It, it worked though, right? It was I sharp enough to cut. Okay. So. I guess I'm the winner. Lucky day, you get oh, yay. Thank you so much. All right, guys. I think this video was a success. You guys learned some valuable information, got a girl's number, and we cut this lemon cake. I agree this was a pretty stupid idea, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe and like this video, and I'll see you next time.